guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing monthly favorites last month I actually missed monthly favorites I didn't really have that many things to talk to you guys about and I felt like I would just skip it and start a new one obviously for this month so yeah let's just get right into the favorites okay so the first thing I have here is this ColourPop super shock cheek and electric slide this is their um, highlighter one of the highlighters that they have I should say and it's really 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 gold really pretty if you can see that right there if you guys are familiar with the color pop formula they're like almost like a moussey texture and they kind of dry to almost like a powder really nice and really really pretty for the spring and summer because it gives you almost like a dewy look super gorgeous um, I've had this one for a little while now but most recently I've been playing with it um, or I've been playing with it a little bit more I like to layer on my hard candy tiki bronzer that you guys know I love with this and I just think it looks so so gorgeous and this is gonna last me probably for a while and it was like eight bucks I think super cheap super affordable and super pigmented so you guys know ColourPop is bomb but I just thought I'd mention this one because I have never spoke about electric slides so that's that one and then something that's kind of like in the same family is this Kiko cream crush lasting color eyeshadow um, in number five if you guys just saw my last haul my makeup haul then you already saw this and I already raved about it but I have to tell you guys that this is honestly one of my favorite eyeshadows that I own right now it's so freaking stunning and beautiful so I just had to mention it one more time and now that I have nails on how am I gonna get in here um, so that's what it looks like it's just this really pretty kind of silvery I don't know silvery glittery metallic cream eyeshadow and it has that beautiful glitter pigment to it so it's just so gorgeous on the eyes guys and if you're interested in getting anything from Kiko I would definitely check these out like I said in that last video this is just such a pretty product and it lasts it sticks on your eyes and once it sets it doesn't move and there's not a lot of fallout or anything like that so this is great for someone who's not like into trying glitter because it's like too much or like the glitter gets everywhere this is like the perfect beginners kind of glitter look on your eyes okay so what do i want to talk about next i have two nyx products to talk to you guys about so i will just bring them up right now um this is the last color or the color that i was wearing in my last video and a couple of you guys were interested in it i left it listed in the description box but um, sometimes it's I guess hard to check there's so many things going on in my description boxes usually so I will just show you guys now because this is one of my favorites lately um, this is called Zurich and this is one of the soft matte lip creams by NYX it is such a pretty color for the spring and summer um, it has like it's pink and it's pretty bright it's not too subtle but when you put it on your lips it does have this kind of subtle thing about it like it's bright but it's not like neon like what I'm wearing right now you know what I mean I mean if you guys want to really see how it looks on the lips my last video is exactly it's just this color it's the only thing I'm wearing on my lips so just in case you guys are curious but love this and I love the formula of the neck the next <laughs> the NYX or NYX lip creams the matte lip creams soft matte lip creams I really like the color what's the other color that I really like um I'll have it listed down below because the other color that I really like by them is more neon and bright but it looks so beautiful in the spring and summer so those two the one that I can't remember the name right now Antwerp that's it Antwerp and Zurich are my two favorite right now and then in our uh, NYX goodie bag from the NYX party the after party in what was it for IMATS or whatever they gave us like a, a bunch of NYX products obviously and one of the products was this NYX butter lip gloss and this is the intense butter lip gloss in peanut brittle this is so gorgeous I love how they smell I love how they apply I love how they look I love the applicator on these it's so nice and they're so pigmented oh it's so freaking pretty this color if you guys can see right there it is gorgeous oh, I'm obsessed it's so pretty I have this on in one of my Instagram pictures only and I'll link or I'll link I'll list the picture show the picture I can't talk today I'll show the picture right here for you guys because it's so nice on the lips and it's just it is so stunning it's so freaking pretty my friend Sam is obsessed with it too we both got it in our goodie bags and um, Sam Bay she loves it too I was like yes girl that color is bomb and I didn't put any lip liner nothing with it I think it'll be beautiful with a 
browny kind of lip liner, but it's so gorgeous. Next thing I want to talk about are these nails. You guys have heard me talk about nail, nail her in the past. And I just want to mention them again because I actually used a different kind of like press on nail from what was it like Rite Aid Wayne Reed or something and they were so bad that it made me realize how good these nails are and I, I knew these nails were good. I raved about them before to you guys but it like validated to me how good these nails really are. So I'm wearing the lilac um, color right now which to me is just like a light pink or light whitish pink it's not like super lilac-y which is actually what I prefer and this is in the oval style which is my favorite style I love them the only thing with this particular color is that since it's more sheer you can kind of see the glue underneath like the glue bubbles but it's not super super noticeable at all so that's the shade or the style and shade that I'm wearing right now and then I got this set this is the marble style and you guys know if you guys know me you guys know I'm obsessed with marble so I'm so excited to play with these it's gonna be so cute on the nail and again, these are my favorite uh, shape of the nail, the oval. I think they look the most flattering. They're not too long. They're perfect for me. Uh, the stiletto is cool, but they're a little too long and pointy for my style. Like, this is the longest I can do um, without feeling like they're not me. So these are perfect. I love them. Again, these are the oval style um, as well in the marble coloring. So excited to play with those and I do have a discount code for nail her and I think my my link is affiliated so if you don't want to use it if you're not down with that that's totally fine but save yourself some money and get at least use my code code is Chelsea Bella and I will have everything down in the description box for you guys next up I want to talk about my favorite brow powder or <laughs> next up I want to talk about my favorite brow product of the month or recently and this is the Tristique Define Sculpt and Set Brow Pencil right now I just have benefit um, that what is it called benefit give me brow on my brows because on the weekends like today's Sunday and I usually wouldn't even film on a Sunday because Sunday is like my one day to just do nothing but I was already kind of made up and ready to go so I was like you know what I'm just gonna film um, but that's why I don't have like beat brows lashes and all that stuff I did kind of minimal makeup believe it or not it may not look like that but it is pretty minimal my lip is just popping but anyway that whole sp spiel for this I don't have this on today because I just did a natural brow but when I do want to have a brow product on my eyebrows I do use this pencil it's so nice it's like, I love the texture and I love the color, so I don't know why I did that so weird, but there it is right there, if you guys can see. And it is shaped like the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow definer, where it's like that triangle kind of thing. I'm enjoying it, I really like it, um, and it also comes with a brow gel on the other side, which I absolutely love. I think the brow gel is perfect, it sets my brows amazing, and the color is super, super nice. So. I really, really like this product. The packaging is super cute too. Um, and so far, this is my favorite brow product for when I want to fill in my brows and then when I just want to do a natural brow. You guys know I love my Benefit Gimme Brow, but this one is amazing. Okay, two pairs of lashes I have to talk to you guys about. The first pair are actually $5 mink lashes. I was telling my girlfriends how dope these are for five bucks. Like, that's amazing. You're never going to find a mink lash cheaper than that. Like. I don't know, if you guys can find a uh, mink lash cheaper than that, let me know, but I highly, highly doubt it. These are great quality too, and I've already been wearing them so they don't look all perfect and neat and pretty in the box, but at least you guys know I've actually been wearing them. Um, and these are by the company Dodo Lashes. I'll have them linked down below, I'll have the style linked down below and everything like that because this is not really helping you um, as far as like seeing them because I don't have them on and they're kind of all jacked because I keep wearing them but they're really fluffy, really pretty and I can tell that they're real mink lashes and they're, they're not just saying that. I don't know how they can afford to sell mink lashes for five bucks but they're really, really good and I'm gonna continue to uh, purchase them. They're awesome. And then the other pair that I have is an Elite Lash, which I got at Dwayne Reed when I went to a Dwayne Reed event and the girl that invited me was wearing these lashes and I was like, what lashes are those? They look so good on you. Uh, this is the number six and they're in black and again, they're Elite and they are 100% human hair. Um, I think they were like five bucks or something like that, but I really like the style number six If you guys want to see what they look like I was wearing them again in my last video and every time I look down you guys can see how it looks like a full lash but when I look up it's like nice and I don't know it's not super dramatic because they go from thick to more of like a flared out like wispier kind of look They're really gorgeous. So yeah, I'll have them linked down below 
I just wanted to throw in like an honorable mention here because I've spoken about this so many times this is like so nothing new for you guys but I had to tell you guys I've been using so many different concealers and you guys know my under eye circles have been really crazy lately and I've just gone back to my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30 this is the best concealer that I've ever used in my life it's my favorite concealer I love it I think I can use it when I'm being natural or when I'm being full-on glam so it's just it's the bomb like I will always have this in my possession this is a brand new one and again NC30 my actual foundation color is NC30 but this concealer has a little bit more yellow brightness to it so it still gives me a little bit of a contrast between my foundation and my concealer um, but it's not super bright and overpowering and crazy and all that stuff so I just had to tell you guys one more time how much I love this and I'll stop mentioning it now in my videos but it's my favorite concealer I don't think anything's ever going to compare to this so MAC Pro Longwear NC30 okie dokie so if you guys follow me on snapchat you guys know I do like little um, hauls of things that I get from companies little PR packages and stuff like that one of the PR packages that I got was from a company called Saint Cosmetics and I just wanted to introduce you guys to them because I know I have a couple of people who are interested in just natural cosmetics there's not a lot of that out there I really don't think so this one has no mineral oil no petroleum PS PSCNG no PEGs um, SLs, parabens, sulfates, silicones, there's no animal testing. It's like really, really, really natural. Um, they're based in Canada and it's SaintCosmetics.com and they sent me a bunch of stuff and I just, I haven't been able to play with everything but I just wanted to show you guys one of the things that I've been playing with that I really like. This is their eyeshadow. Their packaging is cute. Um, it's gold and white and then it just says Saint Cosmetics with like a halo over the eye and the Saint is like, has like a little devil uh, tail in the front. It's cute. So this is an eyeshadow. It's called Angel's Food Cake and I really like this one because it's super pigmented and it's super like beige white. It is a little powdery. Um, that's the only thing. But do you see how like white and pigmented that is? It's And it's not white. It's more of like a cream. But it's super super pigmented so it would be like perfect for doing a cut crease because you put this on your eyelid and then cut the crease. I even put this all over my lid just to set it and then I go in with all my colors. I really like this so far so just wanted to mention it and their packaging again is really cute. It has a little mirror even in the eyeshadows. Um, it feels, it doesn't feel super heavy or anything like that. It does feel a little cheapy but I don't think you know that's that big of a deal to me as long as the products good and the packaging is still cute like I said they are still kind of high-end it's not like they're cheap I think the eyeshadows are like 18 bucks or something like that but for what you're getting like all of this stuff I mean I'll list it down below because my lights are blinding you guys right now every time I bring up this card um, but I'll list it down below like what they claim and everything like that and I'll continue to try out the rest of their products Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about are these little glitters by Eye Candy. I got them at the IBS show, the International Beauty Show. I used them a long time ago and then I kind of forgot about them. They come with this little sealant which is really, really good for keeping the glitters on your eyes. And then I picked up three colors which was Honey Dip or Honey Drop. Honey Drop which is more of just like a pure gold. I also picked up Sugar Cane which has brown glitter within the gold glitter freaking stunning can't wait to play with that one and the last one I picked up was sugar plum which is more of just like a um, kind of purpley burgundy shade which would be good for the fall I tried this on I don't know why this one I wasn't as crazy about but my favorite one so far is this one right here honey drop honey drop is gorgeous it's so pretty and gold it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys because I'm already getting glitter everywhere they don't have sifters inside which is kind of a bummer but oh no they do have sifters what am I talking about so why is this everywhere <laughs> It's literally getting everywhere. That's the only downside about these glitters. They get everywhere. But the actual color is so, so pretty. I wore this on my eyes for the NYX um, party. I didn't take any pictures of my makeup. I don't know why. I was just getting, like, going crazy getting ready and all that. But my friend Melissa complimented me on it. And I told her it was those um, eye glitters. They're really, really gorgeous. And actually, I put the Kiko Cosmetics Cream Eyeshadow underneath as a base as a base <laughs> as a base and then I put this glitter on top with a little bit of the sealant and it was set it did not move I didn't have glitter all over my face and it was just absolutely stunning and beautiful so just wanted to mention those eye candy glitters for you guys okay guys so this is gonna complete my monthly favorites I hope that you guys enjoyed I didn't have any fails this month I don't 
think I did. If I did, I can't remember right now, so I'll include it in next month if I did. I guess that's good that I can't remember. Um, just in case you guys are wondering, my lipstick is a liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's in Neon Coral, I believe. But everything's going to be listed down below, so don't worry. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Okay, so again, this is on 450 degrees, and the way I used it when I first used this brush was I literally just took the brush, placed it on my hair, and brushed it all the way down.